All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rabbi Kakwadash. Double honor to all the apostles, a great millstone that taught me this truth. And blessings to all you sincere ladies out there pushing this truth in all sincerity and faith and honesty. And also uh, peace and blessings to you few sisters out there listening and learning. I'm that fellow servant, Kanaka, coming at you once again with another lesson. And uh, this is pretty much our pilot title of this. Uh, Something between something, you know, in a point of a uh, between the U.S. and uh, uh, Saudi Arabia uh, relations are uh, dwindling. OK, as you can see here, it says U.S. to remove patriots, other military assets from Saudi Arabia. And Lord's will, I'll leave this uh, link on the comment board or in the description. But uh, U.S. patriot systems are pretty much. Um, Almost like a missile defense system, but where it pretty much is a missile defense system, as you can see right here, um, because the Saudis' uh, oil facilities was hit, all right, last year, and uh, it was blamed on Iran. But in ret in uh, retaliation, the U.S. put its Patriot system to protect the oil, pretty much the oil uh, factories over there. But here it is now. 2020 year prophecy the u.s is removing its patriot systems from saudi arabia so i just read this first paragraph here it says the united states is reportedly removing patriot anti-missile systems along with other military assets from the kingdom of saudi arabia as it winds down a military buildup that began when tensions with iran flared up last year all right so without further ado i have this video here that i'm going to play and uh, I'm going to let it play for about, I say, four to five minutes. So uh, bear, with, bear with me. And then I'm going to get out some precepts here. Well, the first thing I'd say is that anybody who continues to believe as Secretary of State Pompeo. In the title of this video is U.S. Society's You're On Your Own. All right. And I got this video once again from the brother. Um measured out of time diligently in itself uh really needs to clean their ears and uh, reopen their eyes uh, to understand you had it right rick uh this is a very important break in the relationship between the united states and saudi arabia they used to work together pretty well pretty consistently to make a lot of money for oil companies by moving the price up or down as needed now they've had a falling out the United States, in the leadership of Mr. Trump, wants to make friends among the people doing the oil fracking and in the oil business in the middle of our country, from Canada in the north through Texas in the south. Mm. To do that, he's got to get the price up. And to get the price up, the biggest producer of oil in the world is Saudi Arabia. We've had a, the, the COVID virus that lessens the demand, simple law of economics cut the supply so far down that the price of oil goes up. That is what the people in the Midwest, the frackers, want, uh, and that's what the oil producers want. The fact that it'll hurt all of us with our heating oil and our gasoline and the fertilizer producers who use the oil, that comes later. That's after the election. The immediate job is what it is, and the authorities have to go along or else they get threatened in exactly the way you summarize. That's interesting, and I'm thinking, George. So I'm going to there and get a precept. Uh, I will get... Um, let's lock it real quick. Obadiah 1 and 7, and it reads... Uh, matter of fact, I'll get Obadiah 1 and 2. It says, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, Thou art, Matt, I got to read one. All right, it says, The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord concerning Edom. Edom is you so-called white people. All right, and the head of you so-called uh, white people, all right, uh, you, you Americans is like the, uh, that's the empire that this uh, beast is being ran off of. America, this beast system, is this uh, Edomite system. America is the whore that arrived the beast. Okay, it says, We have heard a rumor from the Lord. And ambassadors sit among the heathen. Arise ye, let us rise up against her in battle. Okay. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And small among the heathen, you know, 
these uh, Edomites, these, especially these Americans, you know, they still, you know, uh, they still have a world dominance over the world. But, that, you know, meaning small, meaning, you know, greatly despised, are greatly despised. Okay. It says, uh, the pride of thy heart have the seed thee, thou that the wolves in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And we can see that systematically happen, happening right now. Our America is being brought down to the ground because the situation that's transpiring here is that, um, as was stated in this video here, um, and uh, they want to make Trump, you know, the Americans, they want to make deals within their country with the oil companies within their, within their own country, all right, out in the Midwest or whatnot. And what's happening is the the, the uh, demand isn't high right now due to COVID-19. So uh, the supply is, is, is so great that, you know, that's why the prices of gas is low. And what, and what that's doing is Saudi Arabia is flooding the markets with the oil. All right. And they're able to sell oil a lot cheaper than these American companies because they have so much of it. And, uh, you know, they can, if they want to, they can sell $9, uh, nine, $9 a barrel, you know, if they really wanted to. All right. I think the average right now is like $20 a barrel. But the point is Saudi Arabia can outmarket uh, any anybody. All right. Because they're the largest oil producers. And pretty much the problem is what, what what's happening is that it's, it's uh, pretty much getting rid of all the oil producers here in America because nobody's buying their oil so they what they're pretty much telling saudi arabia is you need to cut your production all right if you don't cut your production we're going to pull out our defenses from over there and you're not going to be protected all right so america america and the saudis are at odds with each other and american and the saudis were you know they were uh great partners okay so i'm gonna go back to this it says, uh, though thou exalt thyself as eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. If these come to thee of robbers by night, how art thou cut off? All right, and America is being cut off. Because at the same time, if, if the Saudis, the Saudis are going to look out for themselves more than they're going to look out for America. It's like, you know, we, we're making money. This is, you know, uh, Saudi Arabia depends. They're a one, one trick pony. They depend uh, wholly off of selling oil. So if they're cutting their productions just to make sure Americans eat, <laughs> all right, and they're, they're losing out on money just to make sure America eat. So, you know, push come to shove, who's going to come first, man? You know, who's going to come first? A am I going to uh, cut my production just so, uh, you know, your companies don't go underwater? You know, so that's, that's where when money, you know, when money friendship business mixed with friendship you know things get uh muddy all right it says would they not have stolen till they had enough if great rathers came to thee would they have not left some some grapes not leave some grapes it says how are the things of esau searched out har how are his hitting things sought up and this is the point verse seven it says all the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. You know, they, they you know, the American uh, oil companies are at the verge of, of going out of business because the supply, the Saudi Arabia is putting out so much supply, supply of oil and it's not really that much demand for it right now. So nobody's buying American oil. Okay, so the Saudis are forced, are being forced to cut production just so the American oil, the American oil companies can can float, man. All right, can can uh still exist, coexist within this market, right? When the Saudis could could be just selfish, and just be like, you know what, f America, we're gonna continue to to keep the supply high. All right, which that's what they, which that what, it's like it, which that was what they were doing. That's why America. Uh, pulled out his patriot systems from over there, man. So it's like the Saudis, they don't, they didn't care. All right. 
He says, they that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is no understanding in him. Okay, and Saudi is eat the bread of America. All right, because why? without America, the Saudis wouldn't be who they are. All right, the, the Saudis were able to, to pretty much uh, dominate the oil market globally based off the strength of America. All right, and the, the petrodollar. America, the, the Saudi oil was backed by the American military. Okay, so let's play a little bit more of this. I wonder, uh, are the Iranians uh, smart enough to, knew, to, 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 to know this was coming and to kind of uh, almost uh, in a Malkavalian fashion set this whole thing up as some are charging? No, I think uh, they just sit back and uh, watch the special relationship between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia uh, begin to asphyxiate. And that is what's happening. As Richard Professor Wolf just said, uh, the special relationship doesn't look so special now. Mm. The Trump administration has punished Saudi Arabia uh, quite severely. Yeah. This is not just a token withdrawal. It's sending a big message to the world. Uh, and the punishment is for flooding the market with oil, trying to destroy the shale oil and fracking oil uh, industry in the United States and severely damaging the interests of the U.S. Uh, owned multinational oil companies. So you might say Saudi. So you see, you see what he said. The Saudis were destroying, man, the U.S. Uh, multi-million dollar uh, oil companies over here in America. All right. And that's that's beautiful, man, because that's that's what's happening right now. Isaiah 14. And about five, it says. Uh, Isaiah 14 and four says that that thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. Babylon is America and say how the oppressor cease the golden city cease. The Lord had broken the staff for the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. All right, and a part of that staff, which which is power. All right, was uh, hey, you being able to pretty much make money, you being you being able to uh, you know uh, you know do uh, trade, buying and selling. Okay, you you pretty much dominating the markets. Okay, but here it is now. You know your your ally once again the men who were peace of thee have have deceived thee. Your ally Saudi Arabia. You know, um, they, they were they pretty much was destroying you, you know your oil companies over here in America by keeping the uh, the supply so high when the demand is so low. All right, like the the uh, dude stated, he said simply is you know you know basic uh, economics. If the the demand is is low, then you simply subtract the supply. All right, that way everybody can eat, everybody can make money. But here it is. The demand, the demand was low. But, America, but the Saudis kept the supply high, and therefore that's why you got gas so so low over here. So in order for gas to get back to a reasonable price, all right, a competitive price, to where they're not actually just giving away oil, the Saudis will have to cut oil production. Okay, it says, "He who smote the people in wrath." With a continuous stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. So they being persecuted right now. Who hindering? Nobody's hindering. All right. The Saudis did carry. Here it is. Your your one of your number one allies, man. You know, America and the Saudis were, were very close. But you see that relationship is asphy asphyxiating as he uh, so properly stated. All right. It says the whole earth is at rest and quiet before uh, and, and it's quiet and like breaking forth into singing. That's pretty much, you know, uh, future. Ultimately, it's a future prophecy when America is, is taken out of power. Uh, it's verse eight, it says, Yea, the fir trees rejoice at thee, and the cedars, cedars of Lebanon sing, Since thou art laid down, no feller has come up against us. And this right here is just a, a pure, um, this is a statement for the Saudis to do that would show you that. You know, uh, that respect for America has, has been lost, man. All right. That familiarity, you know, is, is came with a loss of respect. 
you know, they didn't when they was uh, you know, doing doing their business, they didn't think about well, this could uh negative negatively affect America if we uh, keep this supply so high. But what Trump had to literally pull out its patriot systems from over there and leave Saudi Arabia for dead, man. It says hell is hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. It stirred up the dead for thee, even all the chiefs on the earth. It has raised up from their thrones all the kings of the nations, man. Okay, and all these kings of the nations is rising up, man. America is being isolated and pretty much everybody is for themselves now. All right. It says, and all they that speak and say unto thee, are thou become as weak as we? Are thou become like unto us? And that's what's happening. You come in weak now. Now, now you see how it feels for you to have sanctions and stuff and restrictions put on you to where you can't eat. Because here it is. America will go around and put sanctions on Iran, put sanctions on Venezuela. Here it is. Venezuela has the largest oil reserve. They're not the largest oil producer, but they have the largest oil reserves out of any country. And they can't produce oil. Why? Because they're being put on restrictions. So here it is now. The Saudis. All right. They're keeping the supply so high and the demand is low. So now it's neg negatively, uh, it's messing up, it's destroying the oil companies over here in the Midwest. Okay. But here it is now, America. Oh, we want you to play fair. We want you to, we want you to cut production so we can, so you won't destroy our oil companies over here. All right. You see, you see how that, how that it is now. You, now you become weak as, as we, you know. The tables are turning, man. It says thy pump is brought down to the grave, and that's talking about um that that work or that 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 power, man. But in this this uh, uh instance, uh per pursuant to the information that uh, is being brought out, thy pump is brought down to the grave. That that work, man, uh, is being brought down to the grave. It says the noise of thy vows, and a worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Okay. And that's a sign of the king. America is decaying rapidly, man. Okay. So let me go back to this. Uh, bring this out again. Arabia was a trifle ungrateful uh, in doing that. Uh, because would destroy the shale oil and fracking oil uh, industry in the United States and severely damaging the interests of the U.S. Uh, owned multinational oil companies. So you might say Saudi Arabia was a trifle ungrateful uh, in doing that uh, because the United States uh, underwrites the very existence of Saudi Arabia. And President Trump was very blunt about that last year when he said... You see, uh, uh, like he stated, America uh, underwrites the existence of Saudi Arabia. Without the uh, military uh, force of America to pretty much set Saudi Arabia up to what? To pretty much topple all those other other uh, Middle Eastern countries. Cause that's that's pretty much pretty much like it. What America did, they 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 knocked out all the competition in the Middle East and just left and let Saudi Arabia be the uh, pretty much the um, the head of, of the market over there in the Middle East to sell the oil. I, they knocked out Iraq, Afghanistan, Libya, anybody that over there in the Middle East that was able to uh, pretty much to compete with Saudi Arabia, they were knocked out by the U.S. military. So the as he said, America uh, underwrites the existence of Saudi Arabia. If it wasn't for America, Saudi Arabia wouldn't exist. But for Saudi Arabia to do such a thing, you know, it goes to show you something. Publicly, uh, that the Saudi royal uh, dictatorship mm -hmm. would, he didn't put it that way, uh, wouldn't last two weeks uh, without the American underwriting. And uh, that was brutal, but true. Uh, so I don't think Iran has set this up, but Iran is clearly a beneficiary of it. Mm. Uh, I have to just add this caveat, though, Rick. There's still plenty of U.S. hardware in the Persian Gulf. Uh, the biggest U.S. military... And it's more on that, but I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, you can go check this video out, all right? And I'm going to close out with a scripture. Uh, Jeremiah 50. Matter of fact, 
51. All right, this is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 7 says, Babylon had been a golden cup. If you don't know, Babylon is America. A golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. And ancient Babylon didn't make all the earth drunken. Ancient Babylon didn't have influence over the whole world. All right, so to let you know that this isn't talking about ancient Babylon. This is talking about a future Babylon. It says that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. All right. It says Babylon suddenly fall and destroy. How for her take balm for her pain? If so, she may be healed. And here it is. America needs to be healed. But did you think the Saudis care about that? No, they, they kept producing oil. It says we would have healed Babylon. But she is not healed. Forsake her. All right. And Babylon is being forsaken. Let's go everyone to his own country for our judgment reach unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And everyone's going to their own country. That's a, uh, an example right now, man. Everybody's going to be for their own country. You know, it's not, you know, we're not making sure uh, Babylon is great. We're not making sure America is good. You know, we're going we gonna to make money for our country. That's going to benefit our people. That's going to help us. You know, they worry about themselves. Now, all this, you know, uh, this relationships between the Saudis and America is uh, asphyxiating, as he uh, put it, man. So with that, Lord willing, edify. Until next time, I'm going to say shalom.